Hey there, Mouse here with Ace. Um, I figured I would do an interview of Mr. Ace Layton. Um, no, I will not stop making Professor Layton jokes. Um, mm -hmm. Because I know that some of you saw us at the convention and you talked to us at the panel, but it might be kind of nice for you to know like who exactly is giving you this advice and why. Um, and also, like, maybe you're just curious, so I figured I'd sit down with this guy and ask him some questions. You know who Mouse is, but you don't know who I am yet, so... Um, so, why don't we start with that? Why don't you tell us who you are? That might be a relevant place to begin. Um, so, I'm, my name is Ace Slayton, and I'm a writer. I'm part of the Watt Squad, Words After Dark. Um, write with Mouse and Alexa Windsor. We travel around give writing advice and write books. Sounds like a party. It is a party. <laughs> okay, so what part, what kind of background do you have in writing? Like, what do you bring when you come to these events with us, when you write books with us? Like, what? So I've been writing, um, hobby, hobbyist writing for going on 15 years now. Um, started in high school. For context, we've known each other for 12. So that's a long time. Yeah, so I started writing in high school when I took a creative writing class. And um, then I heard about this awesome thing called NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month. Uh, did that and uh, really just started um, writing all the time. Writing with you a lot. Um, writing with other people. And along with that, um, I've edited a couple of your books now. Um, I think you've edited every single one of my novels. <laughs> yeah, so I have some editing experience, not now nowhere near like professional level editing, but going through and, and making sure things make sense and um, and then also just providing a soundboard for ideas. Um, Mouse and I have created several different worlds and a bunch of different characters so he's responsible for at least 50 percent of both melancholia and ashen Pass, both of which i drew from to write bright stories um and he's contributed work to storm warning which might you guys might see in the wintertime we'll see but yeah so he's put a lot of work into my projects so as of yet i don't have any published books to my name um the ones in the world i was gonna say do you want to tell us about so what are you working on so I'm working on, actually, um, if anyone is familiar with the Melancholia Project, which was Mouse's novel slash web novel, um, I am working on a sequel to that, um, more standard book form than Melancholia was. Melancholia was more um, web comic, yeah, web, web novel-y. Yes. Um, but this is being written as a, in book, book form, so kind of picks up where uh, the events of Melancholia left off and a whole lot of badness happens. You would, like, from a book called, like, The Melancholia Project, it's almost like you would expect badness to happen. Yeah. You would yeah. kind of think. Yeah. Um, what's the hardest part of this whole process for you, either the book writing or the editing? Like, what do you find the most daunting? The most daunting, um, sitting down to write is one. Uh, usually if I can get myself to sit down and write, I can get some words on the page and then I can go from there. Um, another one is I get caught up in structure a lot in how much should I be telling the reader versus how much should the reader, how much should I um, try and make it so that the reader finds stuff out on their own as to how much I'm telling them in exposition. Show versus tell? Yes, and that's, that's always been a hard point for me um, is how much do you want to info dump on your reader. Ideally not a lot, so. What is your favorite thing about writing? Characters. <laughs> wow, that was fast. <laughs> it's almost like you knew. Um, okay, well, why? Like, what is it about characters that you're so hyped about? Um, I just, I just love writing <laughs> people. I just, I love being able to craft all of these different people with all these different experiences and seeing how they interact with each other and seeing how they interact with the world and seeing how the world interacts with them um, and how they handle things um, because you can put the same character or you can put different characters in the same situation and everyone's going to handle it different and it's it's just that kind of um, 
that kind of I can't think of a word right now. But it's it's that kind of exploration, I guess. There it um, is. That really draws me to the craft is making these people with these interesting stories of their own and then seeing them interact with other people. Sometimes your people. I was going to say, you have a long and storied history of RP practice. Yes. Does that, you find that helps you? Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, that's, that's aside from, like, getting involved in National Novel Writing Month, um, a lot of my writing has been through RP, um, has been through role-playing, and um, while, like, I do have short stories written and I do have everything else written, I think RPing lets you get, it lets you ignore a lot of the big stuff, a lot of the story structure, plot plot structure, and it lets you get on a more personal level with the characters. Um, you get to focus more on how the, the characters interact, and that's the kind of stuff that I like. Um, what, I lost my spot on the question list. What's the worst piece of writing advice you've ever been given? I know you struggled with this one for a while. I so warned I struggled about with this one, but I um, warned him about this question. One that's that's fairly consistent since I have written with a lot of different people in a role playing setting. Um, I've been told a lot to not write girls because that I'm sounds a boy. like garbage. Um, I agree because in case you haven't guessed, that sounds like garbage. You know me. Uh, you know that actually I'm pretty even, but. But the characters I enjoy writing the most tend to be girls. Ace, strong ladies. Lately. Strong ladies is my weakness. So. And not, not like this, although also like this. Also like that. But like the actual nuanced kind. Yes. Um, so yeah, I think, that's, I think that advice was garbage because, frankly, I think you can write anything you want to write as long as you take the time to to um, do your research and make sure you're whatever you're writing if it's an established piece of work or if it's as simple as a guy or a girl like think about how so what what is them. your best advice for writing somebody on the opposite side of the gender spectrum oh that's a good question I didn't warn him about that one no um I wouldn't get too caught up in are they a guy or are they a girl? Because it's it's going to affect. Surprisingly, sur like this might shock you. I really like that <laughs> answer. <laughs> um, I wonder why. Because while, and we're getting into something else here, but um, while sex doesn't have does have an effect on on characters, it doesn't have an outright. Like, two characters with the same backstory, with the same background, same everything. One's a guy, one's a girl. They're going to act pretty similarly. Um, it's not the defining trait. It's generally what, what it is that, that makes the difference is the environment. Um, because usually the environment is different for ladies than it is for guys. And so, like, for example, Ash and Path, Anna, the main knight, is a lady. She probably had a much harder time becoming a knight than a guy, and you just have to think. So, if you're a, a lady writing a guy character, say uh, the opposite of what I do, you just I want to get too caught up in. Oh man, how am I going to write this guy? It's 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 different than than my life. They're still a person. They're still. I mean, just because they're the different sex doesn't mean they're completely. They're like an alien. Um, is it harder to write an alien than it is to write a girl? Yes. <laughs> yeah. well, depends, I also didn't want to about that It question. depends what kind of alien. <laughs> That's but, fair. Um, but I would say yes. Um, but yeah, I'd say just, you know, don't get too caught up in, in the binary yes-no, uh, boy-girl. I think if you go Frankly, into it... Frankly, that's garbage, too. If you go into it, and it depends on your environment. Some environments... They can be more or less treated the same, um, and some environments. Actually, are melancholy, have, melancholy is a great example of that. Melancholy is a great example of that because uh, melancholy is just a great example of going against traditional norms in general for society. Uh, for society, because it doesn't matter when you 
when you're living in a world where people are dying every day from horrible things, it becomes less important. Uh, the small things like that become less important. Okay, so to counter that, what's either the best advice you've been given or the best advice you would give somebody else? Like, what is well, the one thing that you would tell somebody? I mean, I really love, uh, is it Russell LaSalle's advice? Yeah, Russell LaSalle. Um, we went to his panel this last convention, and... Rockin' 10 out of 10, dude. Came out from it really inspired. Um, he usually does one every year, so... Uh, but anyway, it was about writing life, and one of the things he said that really stuck with me is writing is not always going to be fun. Sometimes it's going to be work, and you just have to do the work. Um, and that's because for me, I've, I've struggled with writer's block in the past, where I've sat down to do a novel, and I get so far, and then I'm like, I'll, I can't do it. I'm just going to put it aside and wait until it comes to me, and that generally doesn't work. Sometimes you just have to power through it. So do the work. I'm going to check on my list to see if anything I've forgotten. Or anything that you want to add as an interview. Is there anything important that you feel that we haven't touched on? Which is my great way of like shifting the burden of responsibility yeah, as an interviewer. Yeah. How <laughs> nice of you to do that. I know, just so I can have a second to look over my list. Um, I do have a question on my okay. list that I missed. Okay. What's something that you've learned working oh, with yes. us yes. in the Words After Dark coalition? Um, and just... Not just you and Alexa. No, also, I just mean like the wonderful people in our Discord and everything. Yeah, hit up the um, Discord. Um, I've learned. I mean, I always knew, but I've learned that that it's not the same for everyone. It's the process is different for everyone. Process. Um, the process of writing, the process of creating characters, the process of the creative process, I guess. Um, me and you have a very very set way we do things and we go into our panel saying that you know this isn't the only way to do things but but seeing and talking with with other writers just helps reinforce that they have different ways they that they brainstorm they have different ways that they build characters they have different ways that they build plots and they're all fine like that's so fine there's no wrong way there's no wrong way as and long as you're getting the work you done. shouldn't listen to people that say there's one way to do things because there's not uh, that's another thing I've heard that's mm -hmm. bad advice oh yeah worst advice do sit it down, this specific do this, way do that do that and you'll have a book and that's not how it works we're not real big on rules no I've discovered I'm as big a group breaking rules they're delicious um I think I think that's basically my whole list of questions so we've covered all I had predetermined for this interview. Um, I hope that this helps you guys get an idea of Mr. Professor Layden, <laughs> but also like of Wad in general and all that kind of stuff. Um, do you have any kind of closing remarks? Um, I don't think so. Join our Discord. Love to talk to you. Yeah, um, we do like to talk to everybody at panels. We'll be at oh, Hot yes. Alt Elite in December. In Chicago. Come holla at us. Um, but it's a convention that tends to be lots of people. If you're looking for more, like, one-on-one -on -one discussions, join the Discord. The link's in the Facebook. Yeah. Or, like, message one of us. I exist on every social media platform, so find me. It'll link you to the Discord. convinced me to get to Twitter. Oh, so. yeah, you have a Twitter. Um, I'll have a Twitter. link his Twitter in the description for this video. So I think that's all for us. All right. Talk to you for now. See you guys later.